know, as a parent, I spend a lot of time trying to figure out what my kids are like naturally interested in and then trying to find those opportunities for them. And so it's really easy for me to find something online. It's somewhat easy for me to, to pay for something that might have a cost to it. Um, and then also because I went to college, it's very easy for me to understand what it's going to take. And I think that we're really trying to be intentional about those kids who don't have that resource. There's a lot of kids and families in the city who don't feel like that skyline is theirs. And so to, to make it feel like it's a truly a citywide campus that's accessible and bring it to them is um, really what City of Learning is about. Young people who don't have those material resources are just as talented, just as inspired, just as passionate. So I think that something like this, which is so citywide, can really change the sort of face of equity. We talk a lot about, you know, there's so many goodies out there, um, but there are too few people who know about the goodies and know how to get the goodies. So part of our work is let's bring all these goodies together. So the very first goal um, for Chicago City of Learning, in my mind, is to make all that visible. It's a really big deal because a lot of the time kids don't even know what opportunities are available to them, but now with this kind of system in place, the opportunities will be readily available for these kids and they'll be in one centralized location where they are able to kind of come in and see what they want to find out. And so I wanted us to make sure to connect to it so that we could kind of spur that interest for them get them connected to the website, help them start looking at it. And so making this platform where young people can actually navigate it for themselves and figure out what pathway they want to do, it'll just really speak to what they're interested in and hopefully drive the types of programs that are being created for them based on interests and based on what they want. There's also, I think, a piece of equity that has to do with helping young people build the capital that we know that you need to be successful. Kids need cultural capital, they need academic capital, and so their engagement in the initiative provides them with that. It connects them to opportunities that then they can translate into currency that really counts. If they're learning these skills or they're doing these things, they need to be able to show that in the world so others can see it, so it can help begin to build that capital for them. When they see people recognizing them for what, what they're doing, um, seeing how people react to it, that becomes really important in building their confidence, building their voice, building their network, um, and really just being able to leverage all of, the, all of these things that they're being able to sort of learn and experience. And I think all of that gets translated um, in ways that push forward um, equity. <laughs> One of the benefits of Chicago City of Learning is it provides a lot of data that's, that's beneficial for kids, for parents, for teachers, for administrators, for program providers and funders. So one of the things we looked at is where were programs offered. And what we saw, so many of the program opportunities for kids were downtown. It's beginning to help us kind of think about those things and help even organizations make choices about where they might take programs or if they might want to start something that's mobile. So we're really excited today to roll out our first um, Destination Chicago van. And it's really about being able to take our activities and opportunities for youth and take them out to places that don't necessarily have these kinds of um, activities and resources available to them. And so it's been really exciting to us to be able to, to make Chicago City of Learning mobile. What I want to see, I want to see District of Learning break down barriers. I want to see a place where young people and families can go to find out what's going on in this city that young people can connect to and build with. It's not just about being a part of an innovative movement around informal learning, but it's about doing it in a way that systematically allows us to address access barriers for kids. That's a really powerful um, an ambitious goal that, um, that this initiative is, is trying to demonstrate what the fruits of that would be, um, and that's really exciting. <laughs>